First, I'm going to start off by disconnecting the battery. It's very important to disconnect the battery before you do anything else because if the battery is connected, then it can damage the motherboard or any other parts. So you just want to flip the unit over and remove the bottom cover screws. Once the bottom cover screws are removed, you can take your plastic spudger and remove the bottom cover. And then just disconnect the battery from the motherboard. Now that the battery is disconnected, you can remove all of the screws in the palm rest. Now that all the screws are removed, you just want to loosen up the hinges. So just open the unit up a little bit and then you can start removing all of the internal parts so you can remove the battery, remove the speakers and disconnect them from the motherboard. Disconnect the two USB ribbons. Remove those with the USB board. And then disconnect any other remaining wires or cables. So disconnect the Wi Fi cables. Keyboard ribbon. Touchpad ribbon. And the LCD cable and then you can carefully remove the motherboard. Now to remove the palm rest, just wanna open the unit up the whole way and then remove the palm rest. Now you can take your new palm rest and start by flipping it over and lining it up with the hinges. And once it's lined up, lay the palm rest down and then you'll need to just lift it up a little bit to re-loosen the hinges so that we can get some of the parts back in and now to start putting the parts back in you can take your motherboard and carefully put that back into place Take the USB board and put that back into place and then you can reconnect the two USB ribbons and then once the motherboard and the USB board are back in you can put the hinges back down. And then you can reconnect the speakers into the motherboard. And loop the cable around the hooks at the bottom. battery and put that back into place without reconnecting it 
and now you can reconnect any remaining cables or wires to the motherboard. So you can reconnect the LCD cable. Touchpad ribbon. Keyboard ribbon. And loop these Wi-Fi cables around the hooks and reconnect the Wi-Fi cables, making sure the black one goes by the black arrow and the white one goes by the white arrow. Now once everything is back into place and reconnected, you can put all of the screws back in. Now to reconnect the battery, you can just take the battery cable and reconnect it to the motherboard. And then put the bottom cover back on. And then once the bottom cover is back on, you can put the screws back in. Now to verify the replacement, you can flip the unit over and plug in the AC adapter. Open the unit up and hit the power button. If the unit turns on, then that means the replacement was successful. And if you would like to check the battery, you can just unplug the AC adapter. And if the unit stays on, then that means the battery is working. So now you can shut the unit off and close the unit.